decades, successive Nigerian governments made unsuccessful attempts at getting Nigeria's conventional refineries to operate at full capacity. Consequently, Nigeria has remained heavily dependent on imported refined petroleum products that are procured at significant cost. These threats have similarly continued to impact negatively on the country's foreign earnings and ultimately its external reserves as well as resulted in uneven distribution of petroleum products across the country. It was in order to stem this unpleasant trend and to also address related challenges of bunkering and operation of illegal refineries that the federal government, through the Ministry of Petroleum Resources, granted licenses for establishment and operation of modular refineries. Welcome to tonight's episode of VOI Impact, where we shall be showcasing Niger Delta Petroleum Refinery, NDPR, the first private refinery in Nigeria that commenced operation in December 2011. The modular refinery is located in Ogbele community in Ahoda East local government area, which is about 40 km northwest of Port Harcourt in River State. Modular refineries are increasingly providing countries, especially low-income countries, with the benefit of forward integration. They are said to be more cost-effective alternatives to conventional refineries. First and foremost, you know that most of uh, our refined products in Nigeria today are imported uh, simply because the refineries are not optimally um, functioning and uh, averagely this country imports refined products to the tune of about 15 billion dollars every year. For every opportunity that you can stop importation of refined products such that is uh, brought upon by the full execution of a project, um, you are just working, you are, you are plugging a hole and, um, and then I think in terms of job creation that hovers around the operationality of our facility, the people who come in to buy products, who take it to faraway places in Nigeria. So the multiplier effect is, is, is quite tremendous. 